Meanwhile, Vivian and Kirito were home. Vivian stood in the kitchen while Kirito sat at the dining table. She tied her hair into a ponytail and washed the vegetables. She peeled them and chopped them. Then she began cutting the onions as tears flowed down her eyes. Kirito watched her cook. Why, why not just skip cutting onions? Kirito presented his opinion as someone who had never cooked before. No, then it is not as tasty, Vivian continued cutting them. It's okay, I can bear it. She kept the chopped onion aside and turned on the stove. She poured some olive oil into the pan and kept it on. Till the time it heated up, she grinded some tomatoes. She washed some chicken and put it in another bowl. Kirito just stared at her work until she was done. She kept the food on the plate and served it to Kirito. Do you want sus? It tastes better with it. Nah, I, I don't like sus. He took a bite of crusty chicken. How is it? Do you like it? Vivian asked as she leaned on the table and looked at him. He looked at her, then back at the food. It's edible. Okay, I'll get to work. Vivian rubbed her wet hands on her. The apron work. I need to do laundry, clean the bathroom, and also the house. Get groceries, wash the dishes, toss the table, and uh, clean the windows. There is a lot of works. She picked up the basket. Are you? <laughs> no, it's okay. After you add, change your clothes. I'll wash them. Where are you going? Kirito asked. To the balcony. I need to stuff the clothes into the washing machine. Sit down. But the clothes. Sit, he ordered as she sat on the chair beside him. With the basket in her hand, he ate another piece of chicken and then looked at her. Keep that shit aside. Are you trying to piss me off? Oh no, sorry. She kept the basket aside. He took a deep breath and looked at her at her. She was dressed up in a light blue German frock. Her hair was unkept and tied up with a clumsy high pony. Did you eat today? He asked. Uh, I will after I take bath. Then go to the bath. But I need to clean this first. The maid can do that. We don't have a maid, she reminded him. He picked up a piece of chicken with a fork and said, Here, eat. I don't want to find you lying on the floor again. She took the frog from him and ate the piece. Are you an idiot? Why? I was feeding you. Yan, I ate. Forget it. Go clean. He snatched the fork from here. She picked it up the basket and ran away. He pressed his forehead and looked at the fork. <sighs> Pathetic. He sat on the sofa while reading the newspaper while she cleaned the floor. She pressed the mop under her feet and ran around the house as if she were some figure skater. 
You make me feel good like no other. I just want everyone to see what I have discovered. She sang while cleaning the floor. Kirito peered at her over the newspaper. She dipped the mob into the water, then went into another room. Now I wanna embrace life, you and I side by side. He heard her sing. He got up and walked towards the kitchen. He made some coffee. Where is Sugar? He asked. What are you doing? Making coffee. Oh, wait. I found it. He picked it up a jar of sugar cubes in the closet. She washed the mop and got another cloth. She began cleaning the glass windows, sliding door and the dining table. She cleaned the kitchen, did the dishes. After she was done, she took out the clothes from the washing machine and put them to dry. Then she came back inside with a huge plastic bag. Are you done now? He asked. I need to throw out the garbage, then uh, I'll take bath, eat and go to buy groceries. Then, then I will clean the bathroom and prepare for dinner. Alright, go take the bath. I'll throw this out. He took the plastic bag from her. Do you even know where we throw it? She asked. The truck must be about to come. Whoa, you're smart. <sighs> Unlike someone, yes I am. He slipped his feet into the slippers and got out of the apartment. He walked out to the lift and reached the ground floor. He walked to the huge dustbin outside the apartment door. The guard looked at him with surprise. What? Never seen a man do some housework. Kirito glared at him. No, sir. The guard bowed down apologetically. Kirito threw the plastic bag into the dustbin and looked at the sky. I wonder what Erika would be doing by now. I miss my phone. I'll buy a new one today. Evening for sure. He turned and walked back into the apartment. He got into the lift. While a high school girl and boy stood inside it with a soft drink in their hands, he pressed his back on the wall as they stood in front of him. They were whispering to each other and laughing. Suddenly, the boy tucked the girl's bra strap from over her shirt. She blushed and pushed his hand away, accidentally dropping hot drinks on Kirito's shirt. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry, she apologized. It's okay, he smiled. Please don't play around in the lift. It's inconvenient just to watch. He told the guy. The guy bowed down to Apologize as Kirito walked out of the door. <laughs> Teens these days. <laughs> he walked into his apartment. I'm back. He removed his shirt. He threw it on the sofa and got inside the bath. Got you more laundry. Vivian turned to look at him as she sat on the floor with a towel wrapped around her and shampoo in her hair kirito looked at her well shit oh indeed jirizo said with smirk as he sat inside a roadside ramen shop with a bowl of ramen in front of him he 
took the chopsticks and joined his hands. So, tell me, can you resist the temptations?